Have you heard about Google's new VR tour creator? I'm going to show you how to use insert learning to now bring questions and discussions into those explorations in your classroom. So I found this great one on the seven wonders of the world, one of the example ones that they had. And students can go around, they can click on it and kind of discover different things. And each scene is a different wonder of the world. So I'm going to use insert learning to now start embedding some questions and additional information into here. And of course, these questions, because we're using insert learning, are things that students can answer directly on the page. So with my insert learning toolbar, click on the question tool. Now you can't add them onto um, the tour itself, but down here, this is where you can actually now start to add some stuff here. So now I could say, simply say something like, right, like from, um, you know, the Great Wall, and ask a question right there. And now students can answer the question um, there within the page. You can also add discussions here. You can even add in sticky notes and put in YouTube videos and a variety of other things. So you can have the full lesson working right there. Another thing you can do though is you, because they have an embed code option, so you click on share and then embed, they give you this chunk of code right there. And what we can do is we can now take this VR tour and put it in other places like on curiosity.com has great articles about each of the individual wonders of the world. And so you can go on there, load insert learning on curiosity.com. And of course, it's a great site that you want your students to kind of explore anyways. Um, and I'm going to add in a sticky note. And down here, I'm going to paste that embed code. Um, now I'm going to make a little note because it embeds really tiny right there. What you can do is, I'm just going to in a new tab here. I'm going to go way to the beginning. We're going to do a little bit of HTML here, a little code here. And change height to uh, 400. And now I'm just going to copy and paste that and head back over here. And now that embed is going to be much bigger instead. So now the students can actually go through. Of course, we can follow that up with a question right after it. Um, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Another thing is, of course, because we're using Google stuff, why wouldn't we want to put it into Google Docs? So I have a copy of the Constitution right here. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I published it. And now I'm using insert learning on that published Google Doc. And any changes I make to the doc will automatically show up here. And so I found this great tour of the Founding Fathers. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to do the same thing here of where I'm just going to change that height. Right now I can tell your students you know a little bit of HTML. I'm going to change that to 400. Copy all of that again. And then over here, this is in our published Google Doc. I'm just going to add in a sticky note. Paste that embed code in there. And now we've got that fully interactive um, VR tour within our Google Doc of the US Constitution. We can now follow this up with our discussions. We can embed our videos. We can have the students highlighting things on there. We can even, oh, this would be great. Of course, right, because your students can add in their own notes and annotations onto your insert learning lesson. So what you could do is after here, have instructions, like right, like after you watch this, like add a note and a video response to what you saw. So these are some of the really cool things that you can do with insert learning and Google's new VR tour creator. Check it out by going to insertlearning.com. Start for free. Try it out. We think you're going to love it.